Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Uh, Solus is broken. Solus is completely broken, and we're going to see why in today's video and some tips and tricks you can use to really utilize this incredibly powerful operator. As you notice, I'm actually in this game, but we're not looking at me. We'll be watching Juicy from the Knights. This was a ranked game we played last night at like 3 a.m. Um, don't know how we queued into each other, but we did. It was actually a really close game in the end. I think it went uh, like 4 3 or. Max OT, 5-4, whatever. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And Juicy was really, 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 really annoying to play against. So we'll see what his ticks, uh, trips, tips and tricks are, if I can get that out. I don't know what's going on with his PDW, but let's see how much information he can gather, what kind of plays he can call for the team. Um, it was really annoying to try and get pre-placed drones, uh, try and get information, try and make plays. Um, I think I threw my drone basically every prep phase round, which is really disappointing. Um, I think this might be mine here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we'll see what, what uh, exactly he does during these rounds. Um, there's one in particular um, where he does a lot of damage. It might actually be this one, I think, where we prep for a rush inside of dorms and he does a really good play in denying it. He spent the entire prep phase basically just roaming around, finding pre-play pre strains. There's two things you can do, destroy them if possible, and or call where the push is coming from, because typically teams will pre-place their drone where they're going to push from. Of course, you need to rely on your team to do the rest of the site setup, so it is a little bit selfish in that regard, but you can find good information. He'll actually spot a player droning outside of Big Tower. Unfortunately, the replay files don't really show the exact POV of Solus, but it shows enough and actually nets him a kill in the end. So you have to be careful of not only where your drones are, but where you're droning from. Uh, when I first saw Solus or saw the leaks, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. You can see where the drones are. That's fairly balanced. So powerful, but, but it's okay. But you can literally see everything. It is absolutely insane. Um, now, in the meanwhile, let's just pause it here. We've actually made our way onto site. So we made some kind of execute like Big Window and, and Kids. And as you can see, uh, they still have a player attic and two down below. So let's see what they do from here. I have the diffuser and I forget that he can see the plant. So he just goes below and gets an absolute free wall bang. Um, and the big issue with this site is you can only go plant bricks to the east and that's being covered on the cross by the dock. So far from ideal. I do apologize for the scope being a little bit broken here. It must have something to do with the wrist stability from Juicy. I don't think there's a way that I can fix it. Solix will go for the plant now, and Juicy's trying to find it. Of course, the range on the scanner is a little bit limited, so I don't know if he actually spotted it here. But either way, we'll see how they go about closing out the round, and unfortunately, we throw what could have been that first attack. So key takeaways, Solus very selfish in the prep phase, but if the rest of the team's doing setup, it can actually pay dividends. Find drones, destroy them. Look for where players are droning from as well, because that's really critical. And of course, you can deny plant. You get a prompt when attackers are planting. You can see that information, which is incredibly powerful. Juice is not even running impacts in this instance, instead opting for BPC. But if you're running impacts as well, that's just another layer. If you don't have the confidence that you're going to be able to hit the floor bang, Impacts are perfect in being able to get players off and or finding the kill. Over to basement then, and again, we'll see same operator, same loadout. And that's the one thing about Solus. Works on every single site, on every single map, because fundamentally, they're the same. Um, oppressive in being able to stop pre-placed drones, um, knowing where pushes are coming from. It's not really specific. Again, I lose my drone, so that's one thing that I definitely learned from this game is being super vigilant with pre-placed drones and essentially you just have to sit outside you just have to put them outside and then waste or use that time during the action phase to actually find picks now we'll see GC post up in small tower here from memory he does find a pick so we'll actually work out how he goes about doing this but for now he's just playing a, a roam role he's not actually actively finding information so perhaps a little bit more aggressive than you anticipate would usually see in like a pro game or whatever but he gets a kill, so that's well played. Of course, with my drone getting taken out, I have no idea if he was still on this side of the map or not, so that makes it very difficult to call. And we'll see now how they go about closing out the round. Obviously, a strong advantage here for Juicy's team. This was a full five stack of 
pros. I don't want to expose who the who the player with streaming mode is, but he's an Apex South player, and obviously Juicy is as well. And then Brendo Fisher from Bliss in OCN and, and Wettables as well. So, yeah, these guys are, are, are a very good team. On to round six, over to Kitchen Meeting for this round. Once again, I lose my drone. <laughs> At this point, I was getting really frustrated, but I, I really do really have myself to blame. And we'll see Juicy like Small Tower again. It worked out for him last round. And I guess a position like this, you can solo, solo post yourself up and deny the information yourself. You don't need to rely on like some kind of intricate mute uh, mozzie setup or anything like that anymore. He makes his way across now to find information elsewhere. Actually gets slapped there by Dev. Uh, we'll watch that back real quick. Obviously Dev Marta, international caster. Oh, well, probably got a little bit lucky there to win that. Um, but he'll say that was skill. So we'll give it to him. Fortunately, not uh, too much to read into in that round. Alrighty, into round eight then. Uh, Juicy will post himself up uh, in small tower. So the game does go OT. And spoiler alert, it actually does go to a ninth round. So it was a, it was a close game. Of course, the ranked environment is going to be very different to competitive play. But this is sort of the best we have at the moment. SI calls probably do have some replays floating around, but understandably, teams don't really want to expose that, so that's fair enough. Juicy goes for the same spawn pip, he doesn't find it. We'll spot a drone. And now I know there's one over towards small tower. Doesn't quite win the one. Gets pinched, so we actually played that pretty well. Of course I'm going to say that because it was me, but... Solus does get caught out on an island, so if you are going to roam on Solus, it is probably important that you do have some kind of support. Um, because while you're incredibly powerful, you're not in infallible, and you don't necessarily have the same sort of getaway tools that other operators may have. Um, especially if you don't have impacts. So, certainly something to keep in mind. But yeah, that will conclude the video. Um, keep it short, keep it sharp. Hopefully going forward, there'll be more Solus content so we can see more cool tricks that you can try on different maps. Uh, the more that she does get played, I'm sure during Six Invitational, um, she's going to see a lot of play and a lot of bands. So it should be a lot of fun. If you enjoyed the video, of course, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.